King of the Dot is so crazy, man. I love coming out here. The vibe is bananas. The crowd, crazy. You know what I'm saying? The events that they put on, spectacular. If you want to see some dope battles, go to their Ustream. Get that pay-per-view, man. It's worth it. If, if you can't make it live, it's kind of like a sporting event. Like, why would you watch a football game two weeks later? If you're a true fan, you want to watch it live. You want to see it as it happens. You want to see the action as it unfolds. That's what this is. This is live entertainment. Man, you're missing out if you're not here. But if you're watching on Ustream, it's the next best thing. I'm telling you. You're not going to miss any of the action. You're going to see it as it is going down, moment by moment. Watch in your own place. Do whatever you want to do. Kick your feet up. Sit back. Watch battles. See what goes on behind the scenes. Do your life a favor and watch King of the Dot on Ustream. Watch King of the Dot on Ustream. Ustream.tv slash King of the Dot. All your battle needs live. Real shit happens when you watch rap battles. What's up, y'all? Welcome to King of the Dot. Put your money where your mouth is. We at Ground Zero, Volume 11, Toronto. Make some fucking noise, y'all. Hey. Hey. What's up? I'm yours, Gully TK. Go to KOTDstore.com. Get all the gear, merchandise, all that good shit. I got my co-host with me. It's Revy Rev, you already know. Go to YouTube.com slash Ground Zero Battles, King of the Dot, dot motherfucking com. Let's go. You dig? The King of the Dot champ in the building. Friends, Romans, countrymen. Lend me your ears! <laughs> Are you entertained? Let's go, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. That's what's up, man. Let's get this shit started. No battle to my right. Introduce yourself. Yo, Chris Tipsy and this motherfucker. Let's go. I need the arts and music. KOTD, y'all. Of my fucking day. Uh, Fuck the fork yeah. smash, yo. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Battle to my left, introduce yourself. Big Fork is in the building! Okay. Fork Farm, Black November! Fork Smash! Yeah. Yeah. All right. Light. Fork Farm won the coin toss, chose Chris Tipsy go first, it's 90 seconds on right, him whenever he's go. ready, let's, let's go. Yo, motherfucker, Fork Smash! Mm. I mean, really, what is a fork smash? I'm beating you with ease, a breeze, like top back ripping the Porsche fast, people loving it. See, I've been chugging all my drinks and people wondering if there's bugs hovering where, where the swarm's at, two waves buzzing in this bitch. See, fork shattering, bright collapse like porcelain glass, one smack. I lay his torso flat, accepting his formal matches like a forfeit. You think you ill? Well, I'm more so like the antivirus. I put an end to your sick performance fast like a Norton Taz. Mm. Fat ass. No mm. table etiquette. Fuck a knife. He ain't cutting knife. He wants more stat. Only thing you smash with a fork is a big old platter of pork fat. Mm. Yo, see, you ain't a rapper. You a Mike Myers character, a fat bastard. See, these eyes will stare at you blank. A cycle like the way the other Mike Myers stare at you clown you. Same as if an eye wrist was lazy, I embarrass you. See, I try to listen, but the interest fades. You ain't spitting anything that's accurate. You rap about these awkward sports references, awkward setups. I think your content has to switch at a different pace. You whacking it proves you a massive bitch. I can manipulate fork with ease like magicians do with magic tricks. See, this old prick, he musters up just enough energy to spit his rounds, but gets flustered. Drops the ball almost every time. You pretty much subpar overall awkward and lackluster. Yo, you Forget your shit. See now, you forget it. Like a real old motherfucker, I guess it makes sense he named himself for because we can all see through the holes in his structure. Mm. Hey. <laughs> see, you're a weirdo. Hey, Try to incorporate innovative concepts, but the gist is just ridiculous. It's just gibberish and nonsense. You're a gimmicky bung singing, but what have you accomplished except showing everybody that you're different? That isn't really awesome. Because in rap, Words and other words, what they supposed to rhyme, but in your battles, it only happens about a quarter of the time. You look about 40, portly, porky. Your recordings are morbid and you say nothing important. When you rhyme, cause damage, I'm a beast. Fuck face, use my hands when I'ma eat. Feast, rip through buffets and smorgasbords with these myths like medieval times of fork ain't on my mind. Mm. Woo! Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Up, now. Round one is on fork farm. 
We're both named Chris T. Any other comparison is risky. He's Chris T. Like my best friend's brother's wife, Christy. I'm Chris T. Like Christ, big lumberjack, Jesus. I'm Thomas, dumb 22s, leave sunbeams all tipsy. I blur young lies, show you what the subway briskly I flow deep to the wells leaking coal legends iffy I on the underground, run or you get done dash swiftly Or this king cement some shoes for this queen's union with the fishies On your way up at St. Andrew, war's good, you'll see St. Patrick quickly When I run up where this queen sparked and let three sparks sickly Death is my museum, catch him slumped on his Vespa dine to get me But it's too late, that lead bath hurts, that's how you take the lines to Christie <laughs> They say one with foresight is certainly forewarned, so I'm waiting in your future with a Terminator arm. Gats, rocks, and crowbars knock you out your hat, socks, and forms. When I rack up in roll bars, no fucking most bars. I could give a fuck about bars over jokes. I'm a caustic, it's cars over boats. Straight warrior quotes, I come armed with them both. Your mama got a bush like Troy Palomalo's head. <laughs> it's scary when she rushed the D with it. She calls my Johnson Ocho Cinco. Cause once we're least that dolphin in the deal with it. I'll move weight just to t tip the scales on him fittingly. Bring order to mass chaos like I'm conducting a symphony. If the kilos wit short witness me and bang on him instantly, hear that four four pound tumble, let it thumble like a timpani. Bring strings in so each measure's added more critically, saying he would wins a stanza without an ounce of validity. I'm heavy with sharp notes orchestrated wickedly. You kidding me? Chillo. I ain't losing to skinny me. <laughs> okay. Hey. Ah. Round two, a song Chris ah. Tipsy. All right. Get it. Get him. Your facial hair makes you look like a faggot bear. Yo, <laughs> conveying fables, fatal errors, raps are fate affairs like. Like pay relationships, rhymes are mail order brides Rounds are the same as vows, you say them but you don't mean them You marry the talking shit in the ring, you two make the greatest pair My bars, you dread them, like Jamaican hair See, 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 check it out Odds are in my favor, you would have to, yeah, yeah You would have to say your prayers, then duct tape my mouth and face Erase my brain, sever my hands, and even then this fight wouldn't be right And that wouldn't make this fair See, we gotta make this clear, cause you play those soft And the stage is where this fag belongs See this hairy oaf, keeps singing Karaoke, but it's like he can barely focus For Sharon, his breath and air control Caused him to seem like his throat was impaired Eroded esophagus, closed up after a few bars <sighs> He was like he could barely focus <sighs> Yo, this guy did seem like he needed a Heimlich For that scary choke But, but he pulled through And then, then Sharon destroyed you And you had this very weird and descriptive Disturbing third round Breaking down some incest shit Between Sharon and his male cousin Yeah I mean, what the fuck was up with that, bro? It was real disgusting. See, people refer- yeah, it was disgusting. See, people refer to beating MCs and battles as eating their food. Makes sense you name yourself after a place you raise cattle and cutlery, but this obese dude should have checked the meaning of spoon. See, the definition, well, it's shit. They made it for you, came here today with strange rhymes that'll make you a fool. Played out concepts, should have named yourself Spoon Farm, cause you ain't got no angles to use. Mm. Yeah, no angles, son. I mean, you really should have went with Spoon Farm. It's really more applicable, cause a spoon is pretty much as dull and ugly as you are. Yeah, you screaming like a retard before every battle we letting out his war crying. People from across the room feeling sorry for you. They think he's handicapped saying, poor guy. See, bloated hog, I kill you and let this pig dry up for the chips like pork rinds. Yo, bloated hog, I kill you and let this pig dry up for the chips like pork rinds. Yo, fork farm, picture Goro, right? From Mortal Kombat. Right, think beyond that. He got four arms. One single palm slap would be the same as if he morphed and acquired 40 more arms. I'ma hit you with the force of 44 forearms. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, cause you the poor man's bender, Chris. Cause you the poor man's bender, Chris. <laughs> Except you'll never be on that level, bitch. Wanna be dirtbag Dan still in his steez? That facial hair right yours, your face ain't special, bitch. Mm -hmm. If you were to minus that show tunes out your strange ass bag of tricks, you're a weird ass fucking disgusting mashup of Bender and Dan. Everything in your persona is Fucking stolen, you're a klepto, Chris. Let's go! Mm. Wow. What's up, man? Yeah. Out. 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 Shit. Round two is on Fork out. Farm. Get out. Get out. I fell asleep twice trying to watch your battles because you were so one dimensional. Had crazy dreams of teams of scientists plotting vectors intentional, angles to get actum calculated down to the decimal. But you're just a fraction of a fraction, you're beyond infinitesimal. Soon crews start working, but the science is theoretical. A device is produced to reduce me to his level. And a wormhole opens and it swallows the earth in terrible. Oh. 
Then they had this crazy one about Scarlett Johansson, which was fucking incredible. <laughs> you feel the winds of change coming when the clouds funnel. The design subtle but climatized to precipitate trouble. Categories foresight more like when scientists design Hubble. Part clouds of inspiration like a light bulb in a thought bubble. A hurricane, a hailstorm, a maelstrom. You struggle, bring the house down around you and rain you in rubble. Whether you get it or not, the humidity's doubled, and I slip more dope past you than a Mexican drug tunnel. Whoa. See, this okay. battle thing is not about the swag you bring. It's not about bars or jokes or if you rap or sing. See, that's the thing. Firmly placed atop the mountain in a starry clam of rings where the angels sing. Persuasive imagery is paramount in battling. Your similes may be the finer point of wit, but with no exaggeration, yours sound like jokes made by my grandfather's generation. It's all I got, I got, I got, I like where all the Russian tennis bitches at. I serve Ron and she takes that overhand smash. Game, set, match. Uh -huh. uh, what? Right. Okay. Round three, so okay. Chris Tipsy. Yo, live it up. Let's Whoa. go. Let's go. Yeah. Woo. Everyone calm down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yo, Chris Thomas, right? Yeah. I spit sick like thick vomit. He says he clip clips, gripping Chris Palmer. He blowing smoke like piff some sick chronic. Go on and sing, you big bitch. Voice box shakes like plates that's tectonic. Shows you ain't got no gripes, just a big old pussy hole. You quit often. Oh. Yo, yeah, you like yeah. that, eh? Taste of your old medicine, son. Wow. See, see, yeah, yo. See, <laughs> tipsy cool like Chris walking, crip walking in socks, embroidered in still saying can't slip on it. Yo, oh, tipsy, it. yo, oh. motherfucking tipsy cool, cool cat. Get your high with raps. That's what I do. Flows like booby traps. Y'all trip on it. See, oh. I'm, see, I'm thinking big like the short form for Chris Wallace, and you thinking small like his other nickname. And I'm a bad motherfucker like the imprint on Samuel L. Jackson's wallet. I get you shook as Tim Roth is in the Pulp Fiction scene when if Sam pulls that gat and asks for his wallet back, but doesn't give a fuck about the 1500 Chris dollars. Oh, see, but you this, huh? You probably flinch, you big bitch. I ain't misogynistic, but you probably timid. I don't hate women, but my straight spit and switch them to a rape victim. Quit, leave this bitch crawling. See? Cause I go on that malicious, murderous rampage. Merciless, you pen and worthless shit like my hands were converted to furnaces the way I burn up the damn page. Yo, one backhand will put your back in a stretcher and your neck with a comb like reversing a lampshade. See? see? It's best not to roam out your comfort zone on this circuit. I've Gotten jerked in so many damn ways. I'ma make sure every MCI face is left with a mixture of tourniquets, splints, staples, braces, brackets, cast crutches, bleeding so bad the wrap you patch with. Soak through and switch from a burgundy to a beige tint and switch to a burgundy purple. Switch from a beige tint and turn to burble. Switch from a beige tint and turn to purpley burgundy band aids. And then everyone will know what the fuck is up, and my shit will stay in heavy rotation like circular fan blades. Oh, oh, see, yo, let's go. See. I can rap like Luchi Crack, or I get spaz like Richie Moss. But when I do a bit of both, people tend to get a little lost. People take for granted what we do. They don't understand where we come from and where we got. What we talk about? We talk about money, we talk about views, or we talk about simply trying to oust another motherfucker's thoughts. Let's be honest, my views are shit, and my first few performances were garbage. You had to take a sick, you I had to take a sec to look around at what I thought was easy before I realized all the hardships. I've steadily improved, whereas you're pretty much the exact same person in the exact exact same position is where you started. It takes a man to look another man in the face and ask him where his heart is. Round three, Fork Farm. I find this whole halfway Gino rapper ego you got going on tasteless. I find the Facebook profile pic of you and your pet raccoon subliminally racist. I should call, an I should call animal control, because call me crazy. I think bestiality is gross, and I don't want that raccoon to get rabies. I mean, you look like the slightly upscale version of a homeless person. Or, uh... No, I pretty much got that perfect on the first one. I mean, you look like someone begging for change at an off-ramp traffic light. You just need the little sign that says I will wrap off time for a glass of wine. Yeah. So, save me all the sob stories about how Lady Lux jerked you, because we all know you're not talking about the sister of virtue. You're Lady Lux, an Irish transvestite who lets you smash though you're broke, because you're so down on your luck, luck always comes down your throat. <laughs> And you got a football helmet shaped head on you too. Teeth like a face mask and matching chin strap to boot. The ghost of Gully's braces sends a Hail Mary up hoping organics teeth don't call unnecessary roughness on those things. 
I've borne the <laughs> I've borne the banner of Ground Zero since the dawning of the season. Force, Fork was born the first event, second match of the evening. Since then, I've spilled blood to become the undisputed captain of this legion. If any of you doubting Thomas, come see Christ and you'll believe then. Force I'm on a new die. thing like new Luke Shen. Fire now, off with y'all. Ground Zero's mine. I take winter now. Bring on the fall. I am sovereign over all of where the White Walkers sprawl. If Rich is king of the north, I'm the king beyond the wall. Oh, let's go. All right. That's time, y'all. Give it up for these guys, y'all. What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Just had a sick fucking battle. Chris Tipsy, Fork Farm, Toronto. Give it up for these guys. Let's go. Props to both that man. They both killed that shit. But the winner is Chris Tipsy. The shit. KOTD. Yo, what's good, man? It's Young State, Central Soldiers. Uh, just watched Chris Tipsy versus Fork Farm. Another really dope fucking battle. Um, it was a good clash of styles. Fork Farm has a kind of, uh, he's got the presence. He's really epic, almost on a bender tip. He's, he's really epic and has these great mythological kind of like, I like that style. Um, Chris Tipsy, I'm big fans of both of them. Chris Tipsy, I hadn't seen battle in a while. <laughs> but I'm actually gonna have to give this one to Chris Tipsy. I'm gonna cut to the point right now. I, I thought Chris Tipsy came really fucking hard. Uh, it was very un Chris Tipsy is very unorthodox battler, but he came fucking really nice this time. And uh, like it was really close back and forth. I can't really give it to round to round because I think three to oh I think Tipsy just edged him a little bit each round. Four Crumb had a couple of slips up slip ups that kind of costed him a little bit I think. But um, yeah, overall, I gave it to Tipsy, man. Dope battle, big fans of both of them. Young Stitch, Tipsy took it. Yo, what up, it's Sharon. Just watched the battle with Chris Tipsy and Fork Farm. It was a very close battle, but I thought Tipsy edged him slightly every round. I would give it 3 nothing to Tipsy, but I feel like Fork Farm uh, has done better in the past, but his uh, aggression and presence was a little off this time, and that's usually what he's known for. Uh, I did enjoy his third round. I thought the third rounds were both their best rounds, but Tipsy got him a little bit every round, so that's what it is. Tipsy 3-0. You already know who it is. Brown Boy, $100 bill, Canadian currency. I just bat I just uh, hosted the Chris Tipsy and Fort Farm battle. It was crazy. Um, one of the most difficult battles of the night for me to judge. But tonight I had to give it to Chris Tipsy because even though he, he did stumble a little bit where he had to repeat himself, but he did it with enough energy to pull it across and everything. So I think he took it. Um, Fort Farm did a really good job. He was real deep and all of that. And, you know what I'm saying? But it was a crazy battle. Probably the best battle so far. And I had to give it to Chris Tipsy, so you already know. Brown Boy signing out, KSK kill strip all day. Shout out to my nigga Jess Blaze, you know. Yo, step easy. Good battle. Four from Chris Tipsy. Good battle. Fuck what y'all say. Chris Tipsy, uh, clean, man. Those first two rounds, clean. He had some bars, I'm not gonna name bars, 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 blah, blah. I ain't writing shit down, I'm not nameless. I thought uh, I thought Fork Farm got the third round. Whether or not it was because Chris Tipsy slipped up twice, I'm not sure. But I'll tell you right now, I gave it to Chris Tipsy. He had, uh, his performance value is uh, a little bit underrated. Like, he's doing this and he's doing that and he's got bars, man, he's, he's good. Like. Sometimes his, uh, his, some of his big lines aren't gonna hit. And that's just because I don't know what it is why. Like maybe it's, it's not delivered correctly because I think he has great delivery. Maybe it's just not the multi that goes with it. Fork Farm did his thing, had bars all three rounds. Two to one, Chris Tipsy. Tipsy is the third out. Keeps us good. Yo, what up, AC Fresh, King of the Dot? Just judge a sick battle. Uh, it was Chris Tipsy and Fork Farm. I actually gave that one to Chris Tipsy. It was a pretty tight battle. It was the hardest one for me to judge of the night, that's for sure. But I had to give it to Chris Tipsy. He edged it just like his rapping was like really good tonight and he was going hard. Like I just I liked the style, my preference. He was like getting in his face. His delivery was good. And he had some pretty good punchlines too. And like I said, he had some good rapping and he had that stumble, but like usually when people stumble they fuck up. But 
he actually like just kept the energy after after like that little mistake and he kept going and he kept the same energy he didn't let it get to him and fourth farm he spit some good shit too some shit people didn't really take in but it wasn't as like on the same level as Pipsy, but I had to give that one to Chris Pipsy. That's what it is, AC Fresh. Follow me on Twitter, AC Fresh 416 Keel Strip, shout out to Jess Blaze, Young Casper, King of the Dot, peace. Hey, yo, that's Chris Tipsy. Yo, Fork Farm and his bitch. Yeah, yeah, what's happening? Uh, we just had a battle against each other that we really enjoyed doing. Yeah, it was um, fun, you know? Was... This guy spit really, really fast, like, in my face, and, like, it was crazy. It was fun. I liked yeah. it. Yeah, it was sick. Like, you know, Fork's a good guy, you know what I mean? Me and, me and Chris, you know, double Chris, yeah, right? Yeah, CNC Music Factory. You know, that's it. We tight. Like, it's not like he's a scumbag. I'm trying to battle with motherfuckers I hate, right? Because there's a lot of pieces it's of shit. Hard not, it's a lot of hard. pieces of yeah. shit around, right? But I'm trying to battle people that I don't really like. But with him, it's like, you know, let's battle. We're good. we're boys and shit, but yeah. whatever, right? It's, it's hard battling people that you actually respect and you actually like. Yeah. It's really hard to, like, spend, like, a month thinking about how much, like, the, these small parts of their personality you fucking hate. Yeah, for sure. Right? And that's yeah. why it always comes through that, like, you, you find a lot of these battles get really good because you know that the other person's going to come, like, with some shit you haven't thought of yet. Yeah, So you kind of sure. have to, like, move around different directions and shit. I tried a couple different things in this battle. I was trying to, sh trying to sort things out. Uh, some of you might have seen my Q battle. It wasn't my finest. Uh, hour, so, and uh, so I'm kind of in a revamp, rebuilding phase. I'm like, uh, this, uh, we're going into like the next season, and I'm All like, right. I, I, I'm working it up through the minors. Let's That's go. It. You got, you got to get it in, man. This I, man was fucking incredible. It was good, man. Like my, my bars, honestly, going into the battle, I didn't think they were honestly my best ever. But I thought if I gave my performance as good as I could, it would be tight. But I, I fucked up all throughout the battle. You'll see it, but. I was happy with, you know, obviously the win, but, you know, I'm not really happy with the overall thing because of all the fuck-ups on both our parts, right? Yeah, like, we both honestly, it was not flawless. There, but like, it was it not wasn't flawless. flawless, but I think, I think overall, from fucking start to finish, it was bang on. You know what, the, the, uh, if for nothing else, the thing was fucking entertaining. Yeah. As I, it was entertaining to be in the middle of it, like, listening to him yeah. go off, like, it was great. It was and I had good. a lot of, uh, the, minute I, the minute I said you look like a uh, halfway, do you know, rapper ego, yeah. I saw him laugh, and I'm like, I got him. Oh, fuck, I was like, <laughs> you know? motherfucker. But, but the I'm minute, the, 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 the red right. bandage, uh, the maroon band-aid thing yeah, that you're yeah. Yeah, I, I was, I was happy up. for you when you got that other I, I was like, oh line. man, fucking brutal. <laughs> I, had, I fucked up two crazy lines. One was tipsy cool like Chris walking, crip walking and stilts, rocking socks with a slogan and stilts in silk embroidered and stitched in the side saying you got big problems. I fucked that up. I fucked it up right there, but I was like, damn. But yeah, anyways, you know, for the most part, know. king of the dot all day, man. Let's dope. go. That's Chris Tipsy. Sport farming is yeah. Boom. All right, GZ, let's go.